What's up, Blockheads? I am here with Giselle Jordan of Performance Harley and Giselle's husband, Pedro of Standard Motorcycle Company. We're up here at Orlando Harley Davidson, which, funnily enough, is the title sponsor of the FXR Dyna Day. Which is why we're here today. Exactly. We're doing some filming, some dual vlog action promoting this. So, just to give you guys some heads up about what's happening, uh, we're going to ride from here to Ace Cafe, uh, talking about it a little bit. Okay, how am I supposed to know this thing isn't pointed at my crotch for real? <laughs> it is. It's totally. It's, it's actually, the dual vlog is just going to be us watching your gas tank and your crotch while we ride to Ace Cafe. Well, yeah, that's a, that's <laughs> a typical day in my life. <laughs> Keeping an eye on that crotch while you ride. <laughs> so, is that what you do? <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> You're just like walking around, like looking down at all times? <laughs> How's the weather down there? <laughs> Ooh, we, <laughs> uh, Pedro. <laughs> Listen, <That's weird. laughs> am I leading? I believe so. Dope. Can the rest of us keep up? I'm not sure, man. This this little turd right here, she rips. Oh yeah, did you want to Chinese fire drill it? Halfway there? Uh, yeah, I'll find a light that I'm pretty sure will take a while and we'll, we'll do it. All right. We'll flip. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, so yeah, we are leaving Orlando Harley. Um, mm -hmm. If you guys aren't aware of this uh, FXR Dyna Day, it is going down on March 10th at the Ace Cafe. Yeah. Uh, you want to tell them a little bit about yeah. what it is and how it came about and a couple oh, of sponsors to. that are affiliated and all that good stuff? I'd love to. Um, so uh, let's start with the fact that we're starting at Orlando Harley because they have graciously agreed to be the title sponsor. Um, and they're like huge supporters of uh, the local groups that are behind this. So the story behind FXR Dyna Day, of course I ride this FXR right here. Um, and that's kind of been like my identifier around town. You know, I'm the chick that's got that blue FXR that's like <laughs> clapped out, you know? Yeah, it's funny. I was talking to uh, one of my guys, one of the blockheads, and he was like, oh, is that that chick that uh, rides a blue FXR? I'm like, yep, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny that you say that because I just heard it today. That's funny. <laughs> So um, I'm, you know, one of the board members of the group, the Iron Lilies, and we're the female riding group that's localized in Orlando, but we're internationally known, and we've got 70 members strong now, so I'm super proud about that. Oh, yeah. And um, I was talking to my friend from Low Life Speedworks, Brandon, and we're like, you know what, like, it stinks that that FXR Dyna culture is kind of segregated to the West Coast, you know? Like, yeah. uh, he rides an FXDXT, which if you know anything, that's like... The, the stunt bike choice, you know? He got in touch with Jordan from Performance Harley, who runs uh, a pretty popular Instagram page promoting performance parts. That is your bike. Yeah. We need to flip. <laughs> <laughs> Already? <laughs> yep. Well, no, I don't mean bikes. I mean, your bike is loud. Oh, for sure. So anyway, Brandon got in touch with Performance Harley Jordan, and they were like, you know what? Let's do this at Ace. Bike Week is such an icon for motorcycling. And we're so lucky that we get to live like right in the heart of it. Basically, Orlando and Daytona are so close together. And Orlando doesn't really have an iconic Bike Week event. Right. And we said, you know what we need to do is we need to take this, this new, popular, thriving culture of Dinas and FXRs and we need to bring it to the East Coast. And what a perfect time to do it, but Bike Week, when everybody in America is converging. So, um, and, and you know, Bike Week, unfortunately, sometimes people in, in this age bracket, you know, the younger generation of Harley riders aren't really attracted to it anymore because it's a lot of choppers, a lot of big wheel baggers, which, you know, we might go out there just to party because motorcycling's motorcycling, but, you know... I mean, you gotta hit the main strip for show. Exactly, but if I want to see some cool dinas, it's really hard to do that at Bike Week. Yeah. So we decided, we're like, this is a perfect way to rejuvenate that event and to bring some of it to Orlando and to bring some attention as far as that West Coast Harley Stunton deal. So um, we got together with Ace. They were all about it. We're gonna be their main event during Bike Week. And oh, yeah. um, it kind of just blew up from there. You know, Brandon stunts on the side and he's got a lot of connections with the East Coast and crew. So that's our, our main draw is we've got those boys that you see on Instagram doing no-handed wheelies. That's craziness, man. Coming to Ace to do that all day long on the 10th. And they'll also be doing it at Orlando Harley on the 11th. Nice. Yeah. So it's 
tenth, and then the next day, I think there's a, like a bunch of people from the event that are actually heading right. up Orlando Harley as well. Yeah, a lot of our vendors and sponsors will be moving to Orlando Harley on the eleventh. So if you can't make the tenth, which I mean you need to like carve out your schedule, if you can't make the tenth, definitely pop by Orlando Harley on the eleventh. Make it on the tenth because the blackheads are going to be out in force. I and, mean, uh, it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. So I, I heard that that's like the first time you're telling people where to find you. Yeah, uh, well, so the, the, the actual first time that I posted up that we were going to be anywhere was when uh, Adam Sandoval came through town and uh, we basically went to Ace for bike night, but that was like one day notice. Yeah. And so this is basically like uh, the first time that we're actually saying like, yo, if you guys want to meet up, if you guys want to uh, get some stickers, which are apparently pretty elusive, um, and like just basically meet some of the Blockhead crew and uh, show your support, then we are going to be at... FXR Dino Day. March I'm like 10th. so stoked that you chose my little event to like make that. You <laughs> Your know, little event. I knew my it wasn't going to be a little event for long though, man. You got FXR Dino Day, all the passion that's behind Dinas. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's it's awesome to see because, like you said, in California, it has a huge following, man. Yeah. Like, there's like, uh, you got the Dynamite crew, you got like, yeah. well, Rusty Butchers is Sportsters, but even then, you got like all the guys that stunt over there. But it's all California, man. It's always California, oh, California. Yeah. Everything you see, like all the companies are in California too. Right, so, it's like, Dyna FXR fever right now. Yeah, so to actually have something like that, like over on over on the East Coast, and then to line up Ace Cafe with it, man, it's super yeah. perfect. I mean, I'm I'm really stoked because, you know, one of the big things we're doing is, is the bike show where we have OG FXRs, uh, really wild custom FXRs, Dynas, and uh, performance Harleys coming in to, to compete and win some cool stuff. I'm just stoked to see them all in one place. You know, like every time I see an FXR somewhere around Florida, I, I'm like all giddy. I'm like, ooh, bike like mine. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and I feel like connected because there aren't that many, you know, and I don't, I can't tell you how many times people offer to buy this thing for me. Yeah. And I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> Thanks. You're like, no, it's in that, that's the thing. Whenever I bought this one, um, I, I heard they were only going to make the Little Rider S for two years, right? And so once I like got confirmation of that, it was a guy in Australia that told me, he was like, hey man, they just said that they're going to discontinue the uh, Little Rider S. And I'm like, dude, that's a great bike. Like, I got to buy one. And so little did I know that Harley would totally discontinue the Dyna line too. And so it's kind of like, I think because of that, it's kind of made like this culture, like between the, the FXRs and the Dynas, like even yeah. more like enthusiastic. Oh yeah, no, everybody. People were pissed off whenever Harley like basically merged them into the soft tails. And they're great bikes, man, don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, they I, ride they're awesome, fun. dude. Yeah, the Milwaukee 8s, like the 114 and the 107s, they are powerful, really are nice fun. bikes. But they are, they're different. I'll, I will say that it is different. And there's something about, yeah. you know, that the, the rear shock that everybody kind of misses, you know, and uh, we're trying to keep that alive, you know, just because they don't make them new anymore doesn't mean you still can't find them. Ah, no, man, you can find shit, millions of them out there used that you can buy. Actually, one of my buddies, uh, one of the blackhead dudes, Chris Snow, he's working on building out this totally sick diner right now. Oh, I want to see that. And he just dropped a, a ton of money on the front rebuilding the front end it's gonna be ridiculous man dope and tell him to bring it to my event actually he said he's been ordering the parts like faster than what he would normally because he wants to have it built for fx hey that boy knows yeah so i mean we got like within within the the blackhead contacts and like our little community like we've already got a lot of people that are saying like hell yeah we're so coming out dope. got a lot of people that are saying that we're they're gonna contribute parts like you know, for, for Dynas, for FXRs. Um, yeah. Because like a lot of us have like like brand new parts, like Eric bought some stuff brand new and then he, he traded in his uh, Fat Bob, Dyna, Dyna Fat Bob for yeah. a uh, Road King Special, which is a great bike. But, so he's basically gonna be giving away some stuff too for uh, that's awesome. blockheads that come and show the support. Yeah, that's really cool. You know what, what's funny is when we started this event, you know, it's very grassroots. It was really, we're, you know, we're just three kids who have a passion for the industry and specifically this kind of like subculture within the subculture, you know? Yeah, that's what we were talking about at uh, Standard. Yeah. It's like the counterculture. It's like the exactly. counterculture of the Embrace counterculture. Embrace the counterculture. The counter counterculture. So um, <laughs> we were like, you know, we'll use... Uh, you know, the three of us, between the three of us, we have very different contacts within the, in the industry, but it really worked well well together. I think we have different strengths and we knew different people and we were able to corner, 
you know, some really big brands for the Dyna FXR market. Like we've got Bell Helmets is a huge, huge help to us right now. They're, you know, one of our Chrome sponsors and they're all for this event. They love the stunt scene. Uh, they actually make the custom helmets for Ace. So, oh, I've seen those, yeah. Yeah, that was like a perfect marriage there. And we've got, now we've just got Legend Suspension, which I'm personally very passionate about. They're behind us. They're going to throw in a set of shocks or uh, cartridges for the front for a winner of a bike. Right. Um, we've got, I mean, we've got a lot. So I'm like really stoked. And of course, you know, you having you behind this means a lot because you're like a local motorcycle icon. But not only that, your heart is in the right place as far as motorcycling is concerned. And that's that's the kind of people we want at this show. Any type of rider, but you gotta love motorcycling. You know, yeah, man. you For can sure. roll roll up on your on your CBR. I'm okay with that. <laughs> no, man, I'd get skinned alive if I rolled up on my CBR. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You probably uh, would. Right? People be but like, what the hell, <laughs> blockhead? <laughs> but anybody else, man, any type of bike, I think. You know, if you've never seen anyone stunt a Harley, the admission to this event is free. You need to come watch that because that alone, like every time they do it, I assume that there's like some gravitational issue on the planet. Yeah, like they've got a flux capacitor or something installed on their bike and they're bending time. I'm like, what kind of freaking sorcery? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I remember the first time I saw somebody wheelie a Harley, I was like, no way. Like, <laughs> I didn't think it was possible. I'm like, yeah, but, oh, sport bikes all day. You see people like always yeah. riding sport bikes and popping wheelies. And, and Groms. Yeah, gr well, Groms now too. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the first time I saw somebody do it on a Harley, I was like, damn, like I didn't know that could be done. Yeah. And then that's where I found out about like the, the Dynamite crew. Yeah. And like they just, they tear it up, man. They go crazy. Yeah, but, man. Once again, West Coast. But I'm so excited that we get to bring that here uh, and it, that it's, during bike week you know everybody is already going to be here for all these events it's the first saturday of bike week so everybody's kind of just getting warmed up so i think we're the icebreaker we're bringing that fire to break it's the a ice. hell of an icebreaker right? i know it's going to be amazing yeah starting off really well so i have a question are you going to freaking wear your helmet during this event or what's the deal yeah the entire time nobody can see my face yo didn't you watch adam's video uh have you I've... ever have you ever seen my face i'm not gonna lie like i'm pretty skeptical that that was even you <laughs> Nah, I gotta record a, a video about it, but uh, I'll be at the event without my helmet on because it's gonna be probably a little warm. Yes, I, I literally just put my hand on the on the GoPro. <laughs> Sorry, everybody saw my age lines and, and stuff. <laughs> uh, you get a palm reader that's watching the video. They're like, oh. Yeah. Tell me about my future. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, you have a long lifeline. I mean, if you can't find Blockhead at that event, you can come find me. Like, That's right. I'll show my face. It's cool. Nah, I'll, I'll be there. I just ask that people don't take pictures and post it online. There's a reason I don't show my face online. I'll, like, if I meet you if I meet you in person, cool. But, uh... Y'all, you're like Orlando's Batman. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the hero Orlando needs. That's right. <laughs> Show me the other doors. <laughs> take me, take me to the diners. You're so good at that. It just, it always sounds like he's gone for like, no, it always sounds like me after a Zumba class. <laughs> You're like, Pedro, I need water. Just a, <laughs> yep, it's like me post exercise is Christian Bale on set. Like with the, with the rage problem and everything. <laughs> Did you ever see that college humor video where uh, it's basically Batman trying to find his voice? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, swear to me. <laughs> He's like, no. He's like, you sound like Christopher Walken. Where were the drugs going? Where were the other drugs going? Where were the other drugs going? Answer me, Herbert. It was such a good skit. Oh, you don't have blinkers. Nope, I don't have blinkers, and that is uh, not advised. Everybody watching. I was wondering. I'm like, you, you. I mean, you use your hands a lot. I'm like, yeah. all right. Uh -huh. Well, I use my hands all the time. Like even while yeah, I'm you're talking to, to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I use it like for life. You know, oh, like, yeah, yeah. like you're very animated. Yeah. Even like, like I'm a teacher, so when I'm like whispering and shit, I'm like throwing my hands around, and they're like, your hands make no sense with your voice. <laughs> Forever throwing them about. You, uh, you teach our youth. I do teach the youth of America. Please do not be uh, appalled by that. <laughs> A biker that's teaching our youth? Well, I know. Egads, right? Egads. It's crazy. Tattoos. Do you have to wear like long sleeves to work? No, no, no. Actually, um, I'm fortunate enough that 
my uh, principle's pretty progressive and it's more about like doing your job than what you look like. And um, in the position I'm in particularly, a lot of the alternative kids need to connect to someone. And it's nice for them to see like, oh, I can be a little different and still be like a functioning citizen, you know? Yeah, that's awesome. It's yeah. like that shirt that says like tattooed and employed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a whole separate episode that we'll have to record talking about like the stigma of tattoos. The like stigma now. of bikers. Yeah, the stigma of yeah. bikers, the stigma of tattoos, like now versus what it used to be, mm -hmm. you know? It's like yeah. whenever we were at Ace Cafe the other day, there was some people that ate there. It was at bike night. Yeah. And they basically said that they didn't want to sit with the outside crowd. What? Was like, what? 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 Like it's the like bikers? People that are riding motorcycles. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yo, this is a motorcycle restaurant. Exactly. It's a motorcycle <laughs> cafe. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you, no, you don't get special treatment. Yeah, what is it? Like, I mean, if you know, they must have just stumbled in because Ace Cafe, it's the original biker hangout from Europe, you know, like from way back in the day. All the tourists here, I hope, you know, are coming in understanding like what a huge deal it is that we have this place the only one in america here in orlando yeah we were super lucky they chose orlando and then for it to be like central florida yeah. and then central to orlando like right in the heart of downtown yeah it's so much super fun awesome spot. plenty of parking food and drinks are good there's a lot of room in there that's why we chose it for the event actually because it's centralized i'm actually kind of worried if we're going to have enough room I, I was thinking that. Dude, between all the sponsors that are getting on board now. I know, I mean, dude. You got and Mustang <laughs> Seeds, you got Bassani. Right, Kiriakin. Uh, Plex Audio coming all the way from the West Coast. If you know anything about getting audio on a Dyna, it's Plex Audio. And uh, I'm stoked to have them out here representing. Uh, and a lot of these brands are actually bringing bikes. And uh, Spatifora Choppers from uh, up in Boston, the Beantown Boys, they're premiering a build or two down here. So I'm like so stoked for that. Oh, hell yeah. Once you started kind of announcing more sponsors and more people getting on board, I'm like, dude. Yeah. Like it's filling up, which is good. I mean, that's what we want. Yep. Oh, we didn't Chinese fire drill. Uh, oh, we totally can. I mean, is there, there's no one behind us. Let's just do it. Wait, we can do it right here. All right, ready? Yep. Kickstand down. And off and over. <laughs> yes! Nice. I'm like yelling right into the mic. Oh my god, I feel so rugged <laughs> and fierce and like I could vlog the world. I feel so high up. Jesus Christ. You are, man. Those 14 inch shocks, dude. Imagine me, I'm 5'6. We're going right? We are, but I'm I'm like just enjoying watching. Are you? It's bouncy, right? That's that legend. <laughs> That's crazy. That's that legend rear suspension, dude. Cushy for sure. And the Bassani. Good My spot, bike looks by the good. way. Seamless. Bam. Boom. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, this ride's so different. <laughs> so does this. Weird fuel injection. Weird fuel injection. <laughs> this thing is this thing is peppy off the line, man. Oh, it goes. <laughs> Did you rip? Oh, I mean, I, I, you know, a little bit. Oh my god. This is torquey. Yeah, uh, I think it holds ass. Listen everybody. This bike, if you have never ridden one, find one and ride it today. <laughs> find one and buy it. <laughs> oh yeah, true. If you find it, buy it. The best thing about that Evo is you can lug it a little bit and it sounds so good. Yeah. You look good on it, man. I hate to say. Oh, thanks. You look good on that, too. You're all blacked out. You match the bike. <laughs> I, but I also feel like my knees are in my teeth. Yeah, yeah I feel like I'm... Uh, way the hell up here. I'm sitting so much higher on this bike. Get on it for a second. Woo! Dang! Uh, that thing's a beast. I love, I love, I love. Here's Ace rolling up to Ace on Blockhead's bike. This is like historic. <laughs> Has anyone rolled up here on your bike before? No. You're the first. Wow. Wah wah wee wah. Dude, this Go. is like the height of my CBR. <laughs> way up here. Oh, no way. It's Joel. Oh, really? Oh, I see him. Uh, hey, buddy. Joel's rolling up. That's awesome. It's one of the blackheads. He's probably confused. He's like, did, did blockhead turn into a girl? Yeah. He's got the new Fat Bob, the, uh, the 2018. I actually, we actually test rode that bike, and then he bought it immediately after our test rode. Dope. Bam. All right, so we are here at... Ace Cafe. Where is the... Where's your kickstand? You got to reach way back here. Like really? underneath the, yep, there you go. It's Found there. it. Holy f this thing leans so far over. I know, dude. All right, we're good. Dino life. Yo, that's so fun. I want to ride that for real one day. Yeah, for sure. They look so good together. What up, dude? Good, good. How you doing, brother? Oh, good, 
That's funny, we rolled up here at the same time. No, you So, Joel, Giselle, Giselle, right. Joel. Nice to meet you. We are up here at the Ace Cafe, Orlando. Beautiful Ace Cafe. I've done plenty of videos up here, so you guys should totally know where yeah. we're at right now. They're doing a little like race car event, or they're closing it up right now. They've always got something going on up here, all the time. All right, well, is there, I think we went over everything, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. If you guys do need more information about FXR Dyna Day, uh, I am going to post links in the description below. You guys can check that out for uh, any of the sponsors. Like I said, we got uh, Orlando Harley as a title sponsor, the Iron Lilies, Bell Helmets, Low Life Speedworks, Performance, Performance Harley. Harley, Blockhead. Blockhead. <laughs> Dude, there's a lot. The Mustang seats, Bassani. Yep. Uh, there's going to be a ton. So you just send standard me everything. Oh, company. yeah. Standard yeah. Motorcycle Company. Yeah. We'll link them all in the description below if you guys want to check out any of them. We are trying to get like a couple little one on one videos, but obviously we're not going to be able to get one for each sponsor. If you guys need any more information on the event, like I said, March 10th from what, 1 to 5? 12 to 5. 12, 12 noon yeah. to 5 p.m. Yep. But it'll probably go a little longer than that. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, the way we're tearing it up. Are we mentioning any, anything about the uh, after party? Uh, we might have a little shindig in the works. It's still, like, super covert. But if you come find one of us, I'm sure you will find out the details. Yeah, we might get you a VIP pass. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to post up in the comments below. If you guys aren't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Be sure to post up as well if you guys have any questions about the event, and we'll answer to the best of our knowledge. And until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. We'll catch y'all later. Base.